everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea and you are in the babe cave today. And I just wanted to point out my shirt. It's my butter cow from the Iowa State Fair. If you've never seen the butter cow, I suggest you go to that Iowa State Fair. Um, it's really a huge, huge fair. But anyway, I wanted to do my five most used bags. Not wearable, not newest bags, but most used, because those are different. So if you are interested in that topic, then stay tuned. Okay, the first bag um, I wore a lot because it was winter time and I've been carrying a lot smaller purses as of lately. So I pulled out this one a lot, a lot, which is the Coach Nolita 19 and it has the shirling and the leather and that saddle color and then there's the back. Yeah, I got this from the Coach Outlet, and, and it's that cream color with the beige. So yeah, I pulled this out a lot in the winter months. So this is my first most used bag. My second one happens to be more of the bags that are trending, I think, is and it's the shoulder baguette tile. <laughs> style bags and it is in this gorgeous fuchsia magenta type pink color and it's a shoulder bag with silver hardware and I don't even know you know when this bag came out from coach but I really grabbed it a lot um I really like the 90s 2000 styles that have come back these double pockets you could put stuff in and then the interior and the person I bought this from actually included the coach papers that came with it. So I thought that was cool. So yeah, I have been really gravitating towards, you know, the little retro 90s shoulder bag baguette type. So yeah, this is my coach in the pink. My third one is my Michael Kors. And I believe it's the extra small Kareem bag. And I'll be sure and pop the name up if I'm wrong. But it's in this really pretty burgundy color. Here's the side. There's the back. I didn't utilize this. And it is cute just to as a top handle. Um, so I sometimes wore the crossbody strap and I sometimes didn't. No feet on the bottom or anything. And... Yeah, it's just a really cute little bag, and the leather is the nice pebbled leather, and nice zipper, and there's the inside real quick for you. There's the strap, but yeah, this bag I grabbed a lot too. It's very comfortable, it's quick, it's easy, and that would be my Michael Kors for number three. My number four bag that I grabbed more for maybe special occasions, my one and only luxury bag that I mostly used was this Viva City bag, which you've seen. Uh, I did a Louis Vuitton collection video, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the Viva City GM Louis Vuitton. Here's the bottom. It's, again, a shoulder bag. So I've been into shoulder bags or little, you know, top handle type bags a lot. And again, you know, here's the Vachetta strap. And it has the two magnets that you can hold your phone in one of those. It fits good. I love the magnets. Perfect. Perfect. The zipper's perfect. It's a, it's kind of a larger bag, so I, if I'm carrying more, it's stuffed, of course. Um, then I use this bag if I need to carry a little bit extra. But this is such a good quality 
and awesome shoulder bag. So yeah, those, oh, and then that is number four. And recently I purchased this one from Walmart <laughs> and that is the uh, brown checkered print. And I wish, you know, really Louis Vuitton should actually make this print like this because it's really pretty. Like, and I only paid, you know, like $25 or $30 for this bag. And it is a fantastic, the zipper is good. I'll give you a close up. Yeah, just a little Walmart bag is another of my most used. And these locks work, you know, perfect. It opens up like the normal three compartments and then there's the the crossbody strap super comfortable lays up against your body I also did the video on this one go check it out most of my purses uh, with the exception of few I've done most videos on so yeah it just has a brown interior holds a lot there's the strap I've got no complaints on this print in this Walmart bag. It is probably one of my favorites now. So that is my most used bags. And you know, I have so many that coming up with most used is, is kind of impossible. But these are the ones that I grabbed more than three or four times during this 2023 year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that several people have done this video. I just watched Eva from Fuchsia Floyd, so go check out hers. She said it was open to anyone, so I am tagging everyone that creates YouTube videos to do it themselves. What are your most used bags? And uh, I appreciate you all watching, and until next time, see ya!